हेलो फ्रेंड्स मेरे नए वीडियोस देखते रहने के लिए मेरे वीडियो के नीचे दिए गए ये साइन सब्सक्राइब को अवश्य क्लिक करें इसके बाद ये बेल के साइन को क्लिक करें यहाँ इसको बॉक्स को क्लिक करने के बाद सेव करें ताकि आप नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहे आपको मेरे नए वीडियोस देखने के लिए थैंक यू सो पास्ट कंटिन्यूस एज यू नो प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस रहा है रही है सिमिलरली रहा था रही थी द स्ट्रक्चर आई टेल यू दैट वाज वर प्लस फोर्थ फॉर्म मीन्स आई एन जी फॉर्म प्लस वन दिस इज दी स्ट्रक्चर Like you know, I was. I think I mm. told you that. Mm. Uh, past continuous. Yes, I was. Past, past, past indefinite term continuous. Both uh, we I did uh, on uh, per Friday actually. Then I tell you past perfect. Yes. Past perfect. So before I tell you about that tense, I must write two of these sentences here in past tense. First is I came online at five thirty a.m. It's a past tense, right? I came online at five thirty. Simple past. Yes, and the second is you came online at five forty-five p.m. Mm. Both the sentences are in past. Okay. But I, I am just trying to make you understand what past perfect is. Both the sentences are in past. I came online at five thirty. This is past. You came online at five forty-five p.m. This is in past. But the first one happened before the second one. Both the activities are in past, but the first one is past of past. Is it clear? Yes. Mm. Both the sentences, both the activities mm. happened in past tense, but past the first I came online at five thirty happened before you came online at five five forty five p.m. It means the first sentence is past of past, and the second one is past indefinite. So past perfect means past past of past. And the structure is subject plus had plus v three plus object. This is the structure. Mm. But we use past perfect when this is the situation: the past of past and past in the moment. If I combine these two past sentences. I have to write. I had come online at 5:30 p.m. before you came online at 5:45 p.m. Is it clear? And uh, in in past portion, uh, we have to use uh, that uh, past word pattern because this is past of past. Mm. So past perfect we use when past indefinite is there. Otherwise, single past perfect you cannot write or you cannot use. Is it clear? Mm. 
Yes. You simply can't say I had gone to Delhi. Wrong. Past of past, tabi hua jab past indefinite bhi hoga. Otherwise, past indefinite hi hoga. Single. Mm, but sometimes I think we use uh, only past perfect. This is different situation, I will tell you. Okay. First, let's understand that situation. Then I will tell you where we can use single past perfect. Past perfect is used with past indefinite. Like, the train had left. Before we reach the station, the train had left before we reached the station. Hamari mm -hmm. station Ponsine se pallet train jachuki. Patient had can I use, can I use uh, this uh, first before the doctor ran the patient had died? I the patient had died, the doctor had died. So, the patient had passed up past. The doctor had died in past, but what was the doctor had past? The doctor had died in the past. The past. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. This is the situation. Right? Okay. But single pass perfect you can make then we use these phrases. Phrases already till then, before also. Already means already. Already means pehle hi. Mm. Pehle hi. Till then, tab tak. Before also, pehle bhi. If you use these phrases, then you can make past of past. Means past perfect. Like, I have already eaten my food. And yeah, uh, can you can you get the single past? This already till then. Okay. I had all. I had eaten my food wrong. I had already eaten my food. Or you can say I had eaten my food till then. 
and I already get my food. Taken. I am ready. I have. I had already taken my food. Beer. Yes. I had already eaten or taken or I had already had. You can say like this. I had. Yes. Understand? Yeah. Understand. Why I am using had had? Mm. Yeah. Uh, we use like I have I have my dinner and the third one is had my. Yes. I had already had. Mm. I had been to Delhi before also. I had been to Delhi before also. पहले भी आ चुका था। हम्म। पहले भी होके आ गया था। हम्म। Right? Okay. हम्म। So this is past perfect. Okay. Just like present perfect continuous. Hmm. It has been ready since morning. Hmm. It has been. Oh, it has been ready since morning. Yes. Yesterday. Not for today. Not today. Okay. Because it is past activity. Understand? Yes. Uh, it had been raining since morning. Yesterday. Or since yesterday morning. Mm. Understand? Mm. It's yeah. simple like you can say I had been a teacher in Okahali for 10 years. I have been a teacher in Delhi for 10 years. Delhi mm. meant the salt teacher raha hu ya raha tha. Or you can make like this. I had been a teacher since two thousand twenty. I have been teacher in 2013 
Future indefinite. Yes. We always use will with any subject and we will. In short, we say I'll. 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 You will. You will. They'll. They'll. He'll. He'll. She'll, she'll, she'll go there. Go there. Yeah. She'll go there tomorrow. I'll do that. You'll do that. And in negative, will not means want. Want. Yeah. I won't go there. I won't go there. I won't go there. I'll go there. I won't go there. Okay. okay. But when you make it interrogative, like will you, when you make it negative, or oh sorry, interrogative, it becomes a request also. Like suppose I say, Will you go there tomorrow? It's a question. I am asking you. Will you go there tomorrow? Yeah. You answer. No, no. I, I won't go. I won't go there. Will you go there? No, I won't. Yes, I'll. I will. Will you go there tomorrow? I yes, I will. No, I won't. Jaunga nahi jaunga. But when you use will, it becomes a request also. Like, will you please sit here? Will you question nahi hai? Will you please sit here? It's a request. Ye question. Will you be my friend? Huh? Question, will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Huh? It's a question. It's a request. Will the non banja ge? Banoge? Kya aar mere mitra banoge? To ye request bhi hoi. Prashn to hai plus request bhi hoi. जैसे आपने कहा will you go there tomorrow एक तो गया सिंपल मैं पूछ रहा हूँ ये go there tomorrow no sir I won't you please go there tomorrow तब request भी हो गई और question भी हो गया क्या तुम वहाँ चले जाओगे क्या तुम वहाँ चले जाओगे यार you please go there okay sir I will go don't worry Will you please sit here? Kya aap yahan baat jayenge? Will you please get up from my seat? Kya aap meri seat se uthenge? Will you please keep quiet? Kya aap chup rahenge? Understand? Yes. Will you please follow me? Mm. Like this. Clear? Yes. And we use shall also. 
but we use shall with i and v in a question form shall ko i v ke saath question mein hi use karte hain like if i say shall i help you what does it mean मैं आपसे परमिशन नहीं ले रहा हूं मैं आपसे पूछ रहा हूं कि आपको अगर मेरी मदद चाहिए तो कर दूं नहीं चाहिए तो मैं तो हूं ही आराम से बट आई एम इन वन थिंग मोर अबाउट दैट वी यू शुड आल्सो फॉर दैट सेम लाइक शुड आई शुड आई डू दिस आप कर सकते हैं मैं आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड मेनी वीडियोस ऑन दैट शेल कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय शुड इन दैट सिचुएशन या डन राइट कर सकते हो आप कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं ओके लाइक शुड आई हेल्प यू शेल भी बहुत कॉमन है ब्रिटेन में और शुड भी कॉमन है नो प्रॉब्लम हम्म शेल आई हेल्प यू आप शुड आई हेल्प यू भी कहोगे तो भी चलेगा दौड़ जाएगा चलेगा नहीं दौड़ जाएगा तो शेल आई हेल्प यू और शुड आई हेल्प यू एक ही बात है so this is future indefinite but one more thing in future what is it if it's a conditional sentence in a future tense in conditional uh, अगर हाँ जैसे इफ के साथ जो सेंटेंस हुआ दैट इज ऑलवेज इन प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट इन इफ आई आई राइट सेंटेंस इफ इट रेंज If it rains, I won't go out. Okay. अगर बारिश होगी तो मैं नहीं जाऊंगा बाहर जस्ट वेट फॉर अगर ऐसा होगा अगर तुम आओगे तो मैं जाऊंगा अगर तुम नाचोगे तो मैं गाऊंगा फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज प्रेजेंट इन डेफिनेट एंड सेकेंड इज सिंपल फ्यूचर सो दिस इज फ्यूचर इन डेफिनेट सो इट्स इनफ फॉर ग्रामर पोर्शन
Now, <coughs> I tell you a new topic for mm -hmm. speaking. Okay. I tell you a story. An intelligent crow. Intelligent crow. You must have heard that story in your childhood. Yes. An intelligent crow. So I am telling you that story, listen to me. And that would be your speaking topic for next lesson. There was a crow. There was a crow, it was very thirsty. And it was flying here and there in search of water. I am going to have a cup of tea. Would you like to have a cup of tea? No, uh, I don't need tea. You don't take tea? Never. Why? Since then in my childhood. You have never taken? No, I have taken, but uh, when I was very small child, but uh, I, I left suddenly. Why? No one no one can no one can no one no one no one I am not getting no one uh, means uh, he you will be taking no one should take tea. You want to say that? No, no. There, uh, uh, no one even to take tea. मतलब कोई नहीं पी कोई पीना नहीं था मतलब पिया नहीं करता था कोई No, no one used to take. Hmm. So, so, do you take milk? Yeah, I take milk and curd and ghee. That's. You are from Haryana, so there is lot of milk. There is lot yeah. of there is lot of ghee. Yeah, you can say. So you are Haryana the jack. Hmm? Haryana. Haryana is the jat. Jat. No, no one is jat here. <laughs> Only 20, 29% jat in Haryana. <laughs> so you speak Haryana? Yeah, I speak Haryana fluent. I am from Pure Haryana. You are from? Middle of Bivani Nishi. Bivani, Rotak, Jajar. Mm. Okay. So there was a crow, it was very thirsty. It was flying here and there in search of water. Mm. After a very long time, it saw a pitcher under a tree. It went near the pitcher. It peeped into the pitcher and found that the water level in the pitcher was very low. It couldn't drink water. Then it thought an idea. It collected some stone pieces near the pitcher and dropped them into the pitcher one by one. 
until the water level came up. Then it drank water and flew away. This is the story. So you it drank and flew. Yes, it drank and flew. And flew away. Flew away. Right. So you will make that story and you will write questions from the hands. Past perfect, past perfect continuous and future. Right? Right. So this is now, uh, it's the time for us to discuss something in English. Mm. To improve your right. English. Mm. Mm. So, who cooks food in your home? Yeah, yeah I, I cook food. You cook food yourself? Yeah, yeah I cook food myself. Food. For you and for your brother? Mm, yes, yeah, yeah. me, uh, for, for me, me and my brother. And I, I have one, uh, another person also. Means we are like three here. Yeah. And so, Who's that? Who's that third person? Who is it? Who is also from my uh, my neighbor? Means from my uh, you can my village neighbor. He is your friend. Mm -hmm. So you all three are staying together. Yeah. yeah. He he. He stayed very, uh, means very few, few times, for few times. He, he used to go there, uh, uh, no, he, he go to go there, uh, house actually. Means he hardly, or you can say he rarely stays here with us. No. He rarely stays with us. And Jata Rata. Hmm. He comes, or you can say, he stays with us off and on. Off he and stays on. with us off and on. Mother Japta. Kabi kabi, off and on, kabi agya, chala gya, agya, chala gya. He stays with us off and on. Kabi kabar, off and on. Okay. So, whenever he stays with you, does he pay you? Yeah, he, he, he pays. So he stays with you as a paying guest. Uh, where? You? No, he stays with you yeah, yeah, as, yeah, yeah. A, as a paying yeah, guest. Yeah, as yeah, a paying guest. Yeah. How much big is your uh, house? Uh, we have two main two bed bedroom, one hall, and one kitchen. Hmm. So, uh, on where is it means? On which floor is it? It's ground it's floor. floor. It's on ground floor. That's good. Do you have parking also? Uh, no, we don't have parking, parking but, but we have some uh, space outside the uh, outside my room. Sometimes we grow some vegetables and like here yeah. so do you have car there do you have car there car no i don't have car actually i have bike and i think i you you said last time i have nano so uh, I thought I I also uh, uh, I should have taken the that nano car actually <laughs> because I <laughs> because I purchased 
purchasing uh, uh, high price actually. Which card? Uh, one one, one fifty. One like one no buy. Hmm. Uh, it's it's around one like fifty thousand. Which is this means Royal Enfield? No, 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 I don't like Royal Enfield. That, that is, is uh, 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 new, new, new Yamaha. Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha FZ, FZ 250. Hmm, 250. Hmm, you should have purchased Nano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but later you can buy any car of your choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that means uh, how uh, aware are you in making food? Like means, do you include uh, vegetables, pulse, everything in your food? Are you aware of all that? Means that you should have everything: vegetables, fruits, curd, pulse, everything in your food. Yes, uh, actually, uh, we actually means uh, uh, variation of foods like uh, everything. So you do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So uh, do you mean do you have to go far from your place to buy vegetable and fruits, or no. is it available? It is, it is around one kilometer. So you go there and you buy vegetables. Yeah, I buy vegetables for two to three days. Maximum. And you keep them in refrigerator. Yeah, I keep them into refrigerator, but I don't like to put in refrigerator actually for. More than I, I like to have some uh, fresh. And do you prepare chapati? Yeah, we like chapati, not rice. <laughs> you don't eat rice. In Indian, no one eat rice. Why? No rice is not our food actually in Haryana. Tikkal chahiye, tikkal. So you you prepare thick chapati? Uh, thick chapati, thick. Because uh, uh, we don't like, like full cut chapati. That. Mulka chapati ni chahi. No. Mota chahi hai, tikkar. Yeah, tikkar. Yeah. Tikkar and dal. Dal and kadi and raita and many more things. Pani, pani, ghee, ghee, pani, pani, chutney. Chutney, chutney, also. Okay. But uh, I don't need it uh, in uh, onion and garlic. Why? Uh, no, we don't use it in our vegetable. No, it's okay, you don't need but. You should have raw you onion. You should eat raw onion. Kacha pyaj khana chahiye. It's good for health. Do you know yeah, good for good for health, health, health uh, but actually I'm 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 some spiritual type person, person actually, so I yeah, avoid that thing. You are. Some mm -hmm. mm -hmm. beauty right person. So what? Mm -hmm. Eating onion is not a bad thing. It is good for your, you know, 
it will cure your um, acidity also mm -hmm. yeah i know not much small mm -hmm. quantity small quantity mm -hmm. yeah, right. card onion these type of things actually suppress acidity mm -hmm. these are good to control your acidity mm -hmm. and walking walking for 4 or 5 kilometers a day will improve your uh, will improve functioning of your liver pancreas and everything intestine and all mm -hmm. it's a proverb in hindi it is it's a proverb in hindi yeah yeah, yeah. ek hawa aur so dawa ek ek word एक हवा और सौ दवा इफ यू टेक हवा यू नो नीड यू डोंट नीड दवा सो टेक हवा इन द मॉर्निंग देन यू डोंट हैव टू टेक एंटासिड टू सप्रेस एसिड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आई हैव सीन दे बाय इनो ऑल द टाइम दे आर बाइंग इनो taking you know i have i've got some problem i need you know they use you know it's very harmful yes 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 so why do you take you know you should not take you know if you stop if you want to cure your acidity then you should take small quantity after regular interval small quantity of food after small after 2 3 hours after every 2 3 hours thoda thoda khao thoda thoda thodi thodi der mein fruit khao fruit jo acidity na kare aapko kela khao kela mm. 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 Do you know that? And you may search on internet lot of things, and you can cure yourself. That what kind of medicine? Actually, you know, our food is our medicine. Mm. If we take food as a medicine, it's a medicine. but if you take food in a bulk quantity it becomes poison and then you need medicine from outside yes okay sir you may ask me anything now when i will be fluent in english hmm you are asking me that question how can i tell yeah. you that how can i tell you that how can i tell you that then you should say something mm. you should say yes you are my teacher you are teaching me you know it very well you should tell me when i am going to be fluent Yeah, you are only um, yeah, you know me, you are my teacher, and uh, that's why I came to you. And I ask you. Yeah, yeah, I... yeah. It's a question. It's a genuine question. Every student should know it, and every student should uh, ask that. Ask his teacher that question. and it's good you are aware of that question and most of the students sometimes the students they are not aware of that particular question that 
whether they are going to be fluent or not but if you are worried for that it's good <coughs> and definitely as i told you last time just keep doing the work speak more and more try to speak more and more in english don't speak in hindi and you will be fluent in no time but for me i have to i have to perfect means a person who can who can spend who can speak with me for 24 hours i am here i am <laughs> there is no need to there is no need to speak uh, for 24 hours but whenever you are talking to anybody try to speak it in english even when you go to uh any shop talk to that shopkeeper in english mm. if he can speak then you may ask how much is it sir no sir it's too much i can't pay that much sir please uh, make some discount mm. i am your permanent customer mm-hmm. i have been taking the groceries from your shop for many months for two months for three months like this now i have become your permanent customer you must make some discount to me if you want me to come here regularly you have to make some discount and if you want me not to come here again no problem i will look for another shop i will look for another shop right and yeah but sometimes uh, uh, i i think always that uh, i try to speak very fast but i notice that it is not good for me i i have to speak very slow very slow very slow and not very slow speak in a natural way don't try speak as you speak don't try to speak very fast in hindi you never speak like that are bhaiya kal mein padhenge kal mein bazaar gaya tha wahan pe mera dost mil gaya fir picture dekh mera picture dekh ke wale khush hum bahar aake fir humne khana khaya khana kha ke fir ghar aaye bahut late ho gaye the fir hum so gaye bahut late ho gaye you don't speak like that in hindi it's, even or in your own mother tongue it's not the way it's not good to speak like that then why you should speak uh, with that speed in english so it's not uh, good to speak like that speak in a natural way okay so okay. i have already given you your homework questions <laughs> and story <laughs> write that story write questions and speak your story see you again okay all right see you all the best